word as he comes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. morning for being such an awesome God. 
knowing that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask to think. We're not looking to others, but God, we're looking to you. For as your disciples said, for you have the words to eternal life. Not only do you have the words to eternal life, but God, uh, you have words to our situations and our circumstances. And we ask even now, God, to heal the sick. We ask you even now, God, to turn the hearts and the minds of those, Lord, that when they look to you, Lord, you'll never disappoint. We bless you. We thank you for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. As we look at the awesomeness of what God is able to do, we sometimes get sidetracked by the circumstances rather than believing what God has already told us. He said that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said that many are the afflictions of the righteous, he said, but the Lord delivered them out of all of them. Amen. So in uh, the book of John, uh, this was the second miracle that had occurred. Now, this word nobleman comes from a Greek word, which means a king's son. And so this man was a man of royalty and most likely a senior civil servant uh, in the court of King Herod. But his high position, his power and his money were of no value to him in a time like this. You know, I think God's trying to talk to somebody today because sometimes we think because we've got degrees on the wall, we've got money in the bank, uh, our, our, our name is a household name. But, but see, you're going to get to a place that, that only God can help you. These tangible things, uh, they, they, they won't do you any good. He, even though he had all of these things, heal his son. He still had to come to Jesus. And I need to remind somebody today that that, that walls are being uh, built up all over and around you, uh, only trying to lead you back to Jesus. You, 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 you see, he continued to plead with Jesus. Because he knew that his son was dying. Now the history tells us that he came 20 miles just to come to Jesus. And to tell Jesus that I need you to come with me to heal my son. It's obvious that he didn't really understand who Jesus was. You know, and Jesus rebuked him. And say that, you, you know, you're only believing because you've seen the miracle. He, 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 he says now, but, but, but he said, I don't even have to come. Uh, amen. But he kept pleading with Jesus. Uh, in other words, don't you know who I am? Uh, I am of royalty. But, but none of those things mean nothing when it comes uh, e e e man, to you and I having to humble ourselves before Almighty God. Uh, you, you know, I need to remind somebody today that we all must come the same way. I don't care how much money you have. If, if, if your family's been in Pentecost all of their life, uh, we all must come the way of the cross. 
we, we, we all must go down in the water in Jesus' name for the remission and the, the removal of our sins. Uh, we all must be filled uh, with the Holy Ghost, uh, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, uh, and the Spirit of God uh, gives the utterance. Uh, there's no way around it. Oh, when we understand that we all have to come the same way, Jesus wasn't moved uh, because uh, he, 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 he was of royalty, amen, because that royalty, amen, was a natural royalty. See, Jesus said to Nicodemus that you must be born again. Amen. He came 20 miles for Jesus to heal his son and and, and Jesus just finally told him, he says that your son liveth. But at some point he took Jesus at his word. Now, now the first miracle in the book of John, now, now you know it, it had to be God because a man can't turn water into wine. Jesus just spoke the word. Look at your name and say, take him at his word. Take him at his word. Amen. Now, Jesus said to his mother, you, you, you know, why are you bother me? Uh, it, it's not time for me yet, but mama knew. Uh, she didn't quite understand, but the scripture says that every time Jesus says something, she pondered it in her heart because she was trying to understand what she had the privilege of carrying. Uh, amen. Uh, you, you know, because the, her seed uh, that, that, that was in her wasn't the seed of a man, but of the Holy Ghost. And, and, and she was trying to understand, but she knew that he had power. And, and when they ran out of wine, she said, just do whatever he said. And, 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 and so the miracle got him fame Be because he was not honored in his own country. See, sometimes we get all upset because people don't recognize the ability that, that we have. But Jesus said that a prophet is not honored in his own country. You, you can go down the street and say the same thing and, and miracles happen because they look at you and say, oh, that's just... That I, I just made a son of that he ain't, you, you, you know, it, uh, we, we play marbles together. Oh, oh, that's firm, son. You know, we, you, you, you know, we shot hooky together. But, if, you, you know, but not recognizing the greatness that God has deposited in you. Well, in, 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 so Jesus said to him, you just go because your son living. And, 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 and you know the question in my mind comes up with how do we get this kind of faith to believe God and take him at his word? Well, can I tell you that, that I have uh, memorized the definition of uh, man of faith in Jesus Christ from Colossians chapter 1 uh, and verse 4 from the Amplified Bible, and it said, faith is leaning uh, your entire human personality on him in absolute trust and confidence uh, in his power, in his wisdom, and in his goodness. See, you got to learn how to trust him uh, in every area of your life. Uh, and, and, and I often tell you that that word trust from the Hebrew means that you've got to attach yourself to God. you gotta, you, you got to hold on to Him. But when the wind is blowing, uh, you got to hold on to Him. But when the storms are raging, uh, you got to hold on to Him. But do you misunderstood and lied on and talked about? you got to hold uh, on to Him. But see, that was the time when the holiness was not popular. But all of a sudden now it's popular. Everybody wants to be a part of the spirit full field movement. Uh, but that was a time when it wasn't popular. And, and, and so you and I have to learn how to hold uh, on to God's unchanging hand. That, that in spite of what's going on, that, that, that we know that God is able 
to do anything but fail. See, isn't that an excellent description? Now, now in short, uh, it, uh, it, it's a pack and a big punch that, that these words entire and absolute are, are standing out to me this morning. Uh, well, how do you and I grow in the faith to this level? Well, Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 gives us the answer. It says, so faith cometh from hearing the message. Amen. And the message is, uh, 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 that that is heard is uh, the words of Christ. Amen. And so, you, you, you know, you got to hear the word. In, in, in order for the word to become a part of you. Now, you know, some people when they're teaching or when they're preaching or whatever their profession is, uh, you know, it's all in and there. But, well, just think about it. You get the word of God in you. That, that's why, uh, you, you, you know, you need to be in the word of God every day of your life because as the word gets in you, uh, what it's doing is uh, it's pushing out the carnality. Uh, Amen. And, and now the words that you hear, they become life in uh, your situation. See, words of Christ, uh, we, we have to hear them uh, in order to have faith. Now, I've I've been in the family of God since I was a child. You know, my grandfather was a pastor, uh, and you know, it, it wasn't an option. Uh, you, you have this new generation of, well, baby, do you want to go to church? Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Anybody in my house but the dog and the cat, you go going to church. <laughs> if you hear me, it, it wasn't an option. I'm not going to tell you when to go to bed, but I am going to tell you when to get up, because it's church time. Everybody, uh-oh, let me get along. I fell with something there. And, and, and so, uh, you, 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 you know, they did, 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 did tell you, uh, you want to play grown, as the old folks say, and stay up late, that's fine. But you want to church. And, and you're going to stay awake in church, because if you, if you don't, you're going you to fill with something. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, with, with baby, do you want? No, I don't want to go there, Mom. I, I, I'm gonna move on. Uh, but you get the understanding. And, and so, as I as I glance back over the last thirty years, uh, I, I I see that my life can be divided into times of great faith. And then times a little faith. Uh, see, see, reading and studying uh, my Bible or the lack of it, it is what tilts a scale in either direction. You, you know, that's why we have the four chapters a day. That's why we have the morning cup. Uh, uh, you know, we're, we're passing because we're trying to encourage you to stay in the Word of God. Uh, and, and you know, if you stay in the Word of God, even though life may present to you with some terrible situations, amen, the fact that you're in the Word of God, uh, it gives you hope in the midst of a dark, dreary situation. Uh, amen, you'll be like Joe. The Lord give it and the Lord take it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But, but, but this man uh, said, uh, Jesus said, it, it, you see the signs and the wonders. He said, you will not believe. But he said, that's the wrong attitude. You just got to know that I'm God. And that there's nothing impossible for me. You, you, you see, there's a craving after the marbles. Uh, 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 what was a symbol of, of, of the of the sickly state of being mind in our Lord's day, they refuse solid nourishment. And and Peter after the mere wonders. See, you can't be running after wonders because the devil can do some wonders also. 
You, you need to serve God because he's God. Not, not for the fishes and the loaves, uh, but because what he provided for you is uh, eternal life. But I, I don't know about you, uh, but, but I want to live forever with the creator. In order to do that, I've got to get some practice in down here. In, in order to enjoy all of the benefits, uh, I've got to have a little with him every day uh, he, because when I talk to him he leads me uh, when I talk to him he guides me uh, when I talk to him uh, he tells me that everything is going to be alright see, see the gospel which uh, they so greatly needed uh, they, they, they would not have uh, the miracles which Jesus did not always choose to give uh, them, they eagerly demanded that Jesus said, I don't want you following me just for the miracles. I want you to see the greater value of eternal life. Doesn't matter what we accomplish on this side, only what we do for God will actually count. When and if we make it to heaven, he, he's not going to ask you how much you had in your bank account. Mm -hmm. How many degrees you had on the wall. But now let me put a little note in that. You need to put a little something back for the rainy days because the rainy days are coming while you're here on the earth. Take a lesson from the end. Put a little something back. If you don't have an insurance life policy on your family, you need to get one. If you haven't put a wheel in place, you need to get one. You say, Pastor, why are you saying the same? Because we get calls all the time. People didn't have insurance. Had any money, but they didn't allocate it properly. Didn't have a wheel, so it got tied all up in probate. By the time they got to eating it up with the fees they charged, they didn't have any. And so take a little time. Get your affairs in order here on the earth as well as your spirituality. Be because we should be examples to others. While we're spending all this money on things for entertainment, set aside some money for life policy on yourself and on your family because it's important. Take a little time and get your wheel in order. Set you up a rainy day account now. And some people say, I, I can't afford it. I guarantee you, 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 you spend $25, $30 on junk food every week with your lattes. I'm going to tell you what I... I don't know the name, but, but those, those high dollar drinks at, at, at one of those places. And you walking around like you somebody. And you don't have the insurance. There's something wrong with that. Now they thanking you, but, but now they not going to fund your burial. Somebody say, help me, Lord Jesus. Let, let me get back to the text, but that, that's an SOS for somebody to beg. He, he man rather here in the sanctuary of those that are viewing it. He, he man that we gotta put things in order. Yes. You 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 see, many nowadays must see the signs and the wonders, or they'll never believe in Jesus. Amen. They're looking for the prophet. You got a word from it. It's already written. Right. Yeah. Well, you know I. I don't like going to the church because all they talk about is what you can't do. What, what about your job to tell you what you can't do? I can't get no help up in this quiet church. Oh, that is, yeah. Hey, hey, man, you, hey, hey, you, you know what you do? You conform. Uh, you, you, you murmur, you complain. But child, you know, I, I need this paycheck. But you need to get the help. And, and, and I didn't make the rules. It, it, it's in your B-I-B-L-E. See, God 
take some things away from us because it short circuits our relationship with him. And he said, for everything you give up, God says, I'm going to make it up to you. Mm. You, you, you see, but, but, but what if we should never feel it, or probably you may never, or, or you, you know, people say, well, well what, what if God don't do it? Well, God says, I'm not going to put any more on you than what you can bear. And so if God is allowing you to go through it, God has equipped you to come through it. You, you, you see, God is dictating to you, he, 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 man, how he wants to set you free, how he wants to bless you. See, in John, there is no competition in the Lord's arms. We're not in competition. Look at your name and say, we're all on the same team. We're all on the same team. This ministry has not been able to do what it does uh, with one person. It's a team effort. There you go. To have all of the things that God has blessed this ministry with, uh, it's a team effort. It, it, it's the minds coming together and talking about it, hashing out to, to get us to the place where we are. And, and so Jesus is saying the same thing, that we're all on the same team. Each of us has an assignment, uh, uh, an assigned task, and, 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 we, and if we all do our part in each other's labor, then one sow it, one reap it, but it's God who gives the increase. It's God who honors it. It's God who rewards us all when we do our part. Everybody can't hold the mic. Oh, and you really quiet to me. All these five minute glory folks, you know, they want that five minutes of fame. Just give me the mic. But may God didn't call you to be in the mic. Maybe he called you to be behind the scenes. You, you, you know, because it's the people behind the scenes that never get the credit, but, but, but let them be out. Go get the fumbling and things not working right. It, it, it matters, but, but, but everybody is important in the kingdom of God. Amen. Now, perhaps some of these people have, have heard uh, John the Baptist preach, or perhaps some uh, of John's followers have reached uh, in, in, into this difficult field. Some have uh, located uh, uh, Enon near uh, Salem where John was baptized. Uh, now near the biblical uh, which is close uh, is Jacob's well. Now if this is the case then John the Baptist prepared the soil and planted the seed and Jesus and his disciples reaped the harvest. Now, uh, of course, the woman uh, herself planted some uh, of these seeds with her testimony when she witnessed to the men. Uh, but, but, but John said that, that there's one greater than me coming. And so it's not about any of us getting the credit. If we all do our part, some plant the seed, some water, but it's God that's going to touch, heal, and deliver. And so the disciples were leaning or uh, uh, learning a valuable lesson uh, that would encourage them in the years to come, that, that they were not alone in the work of the Lord. It takes all of us Amen. to make it work. It takes all of us to make it great. It, it takes all of us, it, it, man, to work in the spirit of excellence so that God gets the glory. Amen. When everybody does their part, then, then God is pleased. Right. See, the Greek word translated labor in, in John 4.38 uh, is translated weary. Because sometimes we get a little tired. Labor. Because it, it looks like people... Don't care. 
But what if God gave up on us? We have to ask God to renew our strength. Sometimes you call folks, they won't answer the phone. Sometimes you go to the door and they peep out because you see a peeping out and they won't even answer the door. Uh, 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 you, 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 you know, one time I sent somebody a certified mail and, and, and they were just shocked and I said, well, you wouldn't answer the door, you wouldn't answer the phone. I just want you to know that we're concerned about you. And, 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 and if we have to spend just a few more dollars to, to let you know you know, because sometimes Satan can get in your head and make you think that the church is against you. He, he, he can make you think that the church don't care anything about you. When, when, when all it is is a trick of the enemy that if he can separate us, if he can divide us, then he can conquer us. But he, he messed up because Jesus said that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Amen. And so sowing and cultivating and, and, and harvesting are difficult tasks. Nobody ever said that so winning was easy. But somebody didn't give up on you. See, not only in the physical realm, but also in the spiritual, there is no place in the harvest for lazy people. Uh oh. I, I need a little note there, but they don't got to look quiet on me. Uh-huh. Lazy people. There's no place for lazy people in the kingdom. Jesus never picked anybody lazy to do a work for him. Everybody he chose, they were already busy working. And then you have a nerve to get upset. Some of they always use them. Well, you only show up Christmas, Mother's Day, and Easter. And now you want to be you? Somebody say, help me, Lord Jesus. See, the work is too difficult and the labor is a few. Jesus said, this is hard work. But you know what? It's become a hard work, but folks start scattering like flies. Mm. You see, our Lord, he continued on his journey to Galilee and he came again to Canaan. Now, Galilee, he, 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 man, was a place of the Gentiles. But he got more respect from the unbelievers than he did the so-called religious folks. Somebody say, help me, Lord Jesus. See, uh, apparently Jesus had detected in Judah, his, his own country, the increasing hostility of the religious leaders. You know, sometimes when there's an anointing on your life, the folks that are supposed to be on the same team, they get upset with you. Amen. And, and, and so they say, we got to get rid of this Jesus because, you know, he's more popular than we are. But look at your next and we all got a season. We all got a season. And, and what you do in your season will determine what kind of harvest you have. You see, in the book of Ecclesiastes, the Bible says that we have 28 seasons. Now, I don't know what season you're in, but whatever season you're in, you need to make the most of it. Amen. And, and, and so this is all Jesus was trying to tell them. He said that, 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 that these religious leaders, that though the real opposition would not appear for some months now, but he could already see it. And, and you know what folks give you an evil eye? They don't say nothing, but <laughs> you can feel it. The spirit of jealousy. But, 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 but see, we're not here to please people. We're here to do the work of God. And, 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 and once we understand that, then we're not moved by that. But we still should pray for them that God delivers them because those are our brothers and sisters. If, if we treat them the same way they treat us, then we have lowered ourselves to the very standard where they are. If anything, we need to pray amen, that God help them to get back in the right place because Satan has whispered in their ears. See, 
You can't fight the devil with the devil. <laughs> you got to fight the devil with God. Because God is greater than any enemy. Amen. And, 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 and so, now, Jesus returned uh, to Canaan perhaps because he wanted to cultivate the seed that he had planted there when he attended the wedding feast. Now, you, you know, because there were those that were dying, uh, but somebody remembered the miracle. This man walked 20 miles just to get to Jesus. They, they didn't have a lot of in that day. Most of their walking was by feet. And, and when you went to somebody's house, it was just the right thing to give them some water so they could wash their feet. Uh, because the sand and the dust, you, 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 you know, uh, they, they, they looked like they hadn't had lotion in age. And, 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 and so they would give you a bowl of water to wash your feet and a towel or dry it because you've been walking all this time. Can you imagine the love that he had for his son that he would walk 20 miles with no guarantee? But he had just heard that Jesus had come back. The Bible says that, uh, that, 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 that he went and Jesus rebuked him, a uh, man, because of his spiritual condition. But the man wouldn't give up. He said, I don't have it all right. But but I know you can heal my son. I just need you to come. Amen. See, some of us give up too, too quick and too easy. You, you, you know, Jesus didn't tell him what he wanted to hear. Uh, instantaneously, but sometimes it's a test to see how bad do you want. Sometimes when we're filling out paperwork for something free, Lord, they got 60 pages in there, front and back. And, and, and they already know a lot of it is just the same stuff over and over again. But some of us look at that, And so they weed out all the folks that don't want to do what it takes. And so while they got all of these millions, only a few apply for them. And, 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 then, and then it come out, many but too much paperwork. Well, how bad did you want it? How bad do you want your healing? How bad do you want the deliverance? How bad do you want to make heaven your home? Because you, you know what? There's nothing in this life and the life to come that doesn't require sacrifice. So the man walks 20 miles. He, he, even though he had Christ's faith. <laughs> he, he, man, the man had Christ's faith because he was about to lose his son. And, and he had no other resource but the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, when Jesus got you talking to him then, uh, he had confident faith. After Jesus confirmed that his son was healed, he, 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 man, then he confirmed it because he asked his servant. Now, he had to trust God because it was 7 o'clock at night when Jesus told him that your son is healed. But they didn't travel at night because it was too dangerous. And you, 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 you know, I, 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 I struggle with that with uh, my youngest daughter. She likes to travel late at night. Yeah, well, and, and I said, well, baby, how come you just can you, You're going to do this while it's daylight. They act like nothing happens until the sun goes down. Well, I'm going to Marvel and I'm going to Target. No, you need to go in the light. And, and, and so this Roman knew that traveling late at night was dangerous. I, I'm saying for some of you sisters here too, and, and those that are viewing, you need to get your business taken care of when it's daylight. Anybody can slip up on you late at night. All, you get the separation late at night. You don't know who's out there lurking, waiting for the opportunity. 
And, 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 and so this man lays down and gets a good night's sleep. And he meets his servant the next day. And, and he said, your son liveth. The fever has broken. He said, well, what time did it happen? He said, it's 7 o'clock. And he knew that was the time when Jesus told him. Look, look at your neighbor. If Jesus tells you, you can take it to the bed. Uh -huh. and, and so by this time, now he has courageous faith. Be, because he had seen Jesus perform another miracle. And, and you know, as I close uh, today, I, I, I want to tell you that Jesus wants to perform a miracle in your life and in your situation. Doesn't matter how difficult it may seem. For with God, all things are possible. And, and all he wants us to do is just believe. Take that as word. You see, how can I take him at his word? Well, you got to get in that word every day and allow it to become a part of you. Because God will begin to show you things about you that nobody else can show you or tell you. You, you, you know, because uh, there were times when people uh, told me about myself and I just looked at them like they was crazy. And, 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 but, but it was while I was in Sunday school one time. And the lesson was going, and it just like it slapped me in the face. And I said, you mean? You, you, you mean I've been like this? I said, mm-hmm. I, I said, well, how come you didn't say nothing? I said, we, we tried, but you wouldn't listen. So I said, help me, Lord Jesus. So he's all on my road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, if you get in the Word, and allow the word to get into you, the word will speak to you. Because God's got a greater blessing for your life. See, without God, we may have money, we may have things, but our life is chaotic without God. Jesus said that I am come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Can I, can I break it down for you and, and, and tell you that what, what he's saying is that I want to bring order in your life. Yes. Instead of you hopping and skipping, trying to figure out loud. Yes. He said, if hey, you'll just follow the road, man. He said, I'll make it plain and I'll make it perfect. That word life from the Greek is zone. It means quality of life. The life that God intended for you to have way back in the garden where Adam and Eve messed up. But God has given us another chance. And so if that's you today, if, if, if you can't sleep at night, if, if, if you're looking behind your back, if, if you're empty on the inside, if there's a void in your life, can I tell you that means that there's a cry that can only be filled by God. Preacher, what do I have to do? you got to repent of your sins. What do you mean repent? You, you, you've got to acknowledge, I'm sorry for the life that I've lived. I want to change. And now I want to be pleasing to God. And so he says that I went to the cross for you. I died so that you can live the way I intended for you to live. A life without guilt and shame. If that's you, I invite you to come and give your life and your heart to God. Because when a man goes down in the water in Jesus' name for the remission and the removal of their sins, according to to Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Everything that you've done. And you know some of us have done some unmentionable things. 
God says, I'm going to pour it in the sea of forgetfulness and never bring it up again. If that's you, the water's ready. The clothes are here. All we need is your consent to start a new life in God. After a man repents, baptized in water, he says, I want to give you the gift of the Holy Ghost. Last week we talked a little bit about that missing piece that God wants to give you the Holy Ghost, which is a piece of eternity. Because the Bible says in John 4, 24, that God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You can't be connected to God if you don't have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. It's not good enough to shake the preacher's hand. you got to be born again. That's you. It would be our privilege and our honor to help you do it God's way. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. But like a man, he'll never force you to do anything. And so here he is now, he's knocking at the door of your heart, saying, I want to come in. And the question is, will you let him in? It's your day. It's your opportunity. God wants to feel that boy. You tried drugs, you tried alcohol, you tried being a workaholic, you tried multiple relationships only to find out there was still a boy. There's a place that's only reserved for God. Nothing in this life will replace that boy but God. You're filling that void. Call us. Come and be with us in live service. Better Way Apostolic Church. 1011 South Bowie, Arlington, Texas. God bless you as our prayer. We hope and trust that you've been blessed by God's word. Until we meet again, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to put your hands together. We got to pray. We got to learn how to take him at his word. If he said he's going to do it, guess what? He's going to do it. Don't worry about how it looks. If he told you he's going to bless you, he's going to bless you. If he told you he's going to bring you out, guess what? He's going to bring you out. If he told you he's going to turn the situation around, you got to go ahead and start celebrating now because God is not like a man. He cannot lie. Now, God's not going to just make it easy. Anything easy, you don't appreciate. <laughs> Look up today and say, it's going to cost you something. But if you're willing to pay the price, God will come through for you because he's a faithful and committed God. And then we're going to put you back into the hands of the committee.
Thursday to our next Thursday to join at 7 o'clock on this Thursday. Okay, so thankful Thursday. This coming Thursday is 7 o'clock for all the women. And then we'll get a link or a, a, a Zoom link. And dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for watching over us and keeping us, Lord. Thank you for the word, Lord, that we heard on today. Help us to hide it in our hearts and sin not against you, Lord. In Jesus' name, go with us, Lord, throughout this week, Lord. Give us peace, Lord Jesus. Help us to think on the word that we heard, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, help us to build our faith, Lord. Hallelujah. That we would worship you and all of you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.